technology does not give us a good idea of what the actual functional status of what you're seeing is in that patient. And I think combining those two will allow you to better diagnose, to better counsel your patients, and at the same time, monitor their, their, uh, their progression or improvement uh, in, 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 in very difficult uh, patients. I, I, we have a, a large series that I'm, I didn't show you when, in, with the diabetics because we have a few independent research grants where we're looking at, at using this instrument to determine you know, how often you need to treat those patients. If you're, if you're lasering them, is lasering better than, than uh, some of the other options, including steroids, antiangiogenics? All these things obviously are still under investigation, but it's interesting because I really do believe that there's going to be an important pharmacologic way to intervene for your diabetic patients, but you need to have a good way of measuring what the function and, in fact, whether or not you know, you're doing any benefit from these patients. Are there any questions that you, that you have? I mean, these, these studies uh, you can do, you know, it doesn't take very long to do it. You know, the studies that I showed you here take about maybe five, six minutes per eye, okay? And, uh, and, and, and the reproducibility in these, in, in these, because of the registering is, is excellent. And as long as your technician knows how to, how to pre press the, uh, the, the follow-up uh, mode on the, on the device, it, it'll do it for you automatically. So it's, it's, it's relatively easy. Uh, nothing major in terms of learning curve for our technicians. You know, it was one, a, one afternoon and they really, very easy. That software is very uh, friendly, user friendly. Anything else? So you're all experts now, huh? Good. Uh, thanks.